Hello everyone and welcome back to the sessions on strategic financial management. In the topic derivatives, we were dealing with options strategies. In the previous classes, just let me remind you what all we have completed. We have completed these elementary strategies. You remember that right? Long call, long put, short call, short put. Then we started with stock and options combination. And here we have completed the covered call and protective put in the previous two parts of the classes. Now I told you earlier, what does covered call mean? Covered call is a strategy where you hold a stock and parallelly you write a call option means you are having long position with the stock and you are going short on the call option that is the combination so long stock and short call that is the combination for covered call correct now look at this third strategy which is short stock plus long call means it is exactly reverse of covered call so it's reverse of covered call strategy so here you have short position in the stock now having short position in the stock don't ever forget means you have made a short selling with respect to a particular stock so keep in mind one thing these strategies will work only when you are having short position in your stock as in you are having short selling position in your stock in markets like Indian derivative markets and Indian stock markets where short selling is not permitted beyond a day in reality pen and paper you can do anything but in Indian stock markets and in Indian derivative markets you will never be able to follow this strategy unless it is just for an intraday situation and intraday situation it doesn't make any sense that you know you first take a short selling position which is itself a risky and then try to cover it up doesn't make sense so I would say in Indian markets it won't work but in different economies and markets where the stock regulation or stock exchange regulations they allow you to have short selling position for a longer period beyond a day in that case this is definitely workable where the short seller will have to borrow the stock and sell the borrowed stock and at a later stage when the price falls you buy back the stock you know what is the meaning of short selling right so you initially go for a short sell and then you take a buy to cover position we have learned all these in the basic part of derivative itself now here what we have to do here we have to understand that if you have taken a short position in a stock that is you have taken a short selling position you can cover it up by taking a long position in the call which becomes exactly inverse of covered call strategy exactly similar way if you pay attention on protective put try to recall what was protective put protective put was a strategy where you have taken a long position in a stock as well as you have taken a long position in a put option that means you have purchased a stock parallelly simultaneously you have also purchased a put option both long so here look at D it is short stock and short put it is exactly reversal of the protective put strategy so what I am going to do is in this class I will directly take you to the examples on both of these strategies one by one and once you are clear with those examples task done you'll be covering these all strategies and mind it in the next class our focus point goes on the deeper part of option strategies where we are going to first deal with spread strategies all of these one by one and then we move on to other strategies or non spread strategies much later stage so let us focus on these two right now let me expand the screen size for your reference so let us move on to examples on those two strategies what we have just discussed so yeah it is third strategy over here that is 
short position in stock with a long call. So strategy is short stock plus long call. Your apprehension over here is reversal, right? That means you are expecting an increase in the stock. Mechanism, as the price rises, loss on short stock is covered by the profit on long call. And when it is effective, when you are expecting a large price appreciation. Now, consider the following illustration. That is illustration 33. Mr. C sells short shares of Q Limited at rupees 300 per share in order to hedge the loss against possible price increase. He buys a call option with a strike price of 350 per share. He pays a premium of rupees 5 per share. Show his expiration day payoff with a price range of 280 to 380. Now, basically, you know what happens when it is a short selling. Why would someone take a short selling position? If I go little deeper into the concept, why would someone take a short selling position? Who would take a short selling position in a stock? Who is expecting the price to decline? So assume that an investor who has made an arrangement of short selling already and then finds that, oh my God, what I have done? I have expected that the price will decline. But here, now my revised expectation is the price would go up. In that case, the investor wants a protection over there for protecting his or her interest. This kind of strategy is workable. But keep in mind one thing, this strategy is workable only where the stock markets and derivative markets allow the short selling of stock for a longer period. So let us continue with the solution to this illustration. Look at the first column in your solution. It is basically the range of price 280, 290, 300, 320, 340, 350, 360, 380 as the question has demanded. Uh, now, someone might wonder that why after 320 it is directly 340 and again 10 gap, 10 gap and again 20 gap. This is all up to you. You can make a little bit of changes because ultimately this range you have to cover. How much gap you have to take in the prices was never mentioned in the question. So in your solution, you can be a little flexible. 99% cases in exams because the examiner doesn't want any ambiguity. They will mention clearly which price they want and that makes your task much easier. So look at one thing because you have taken a short selling position in the stock and you have made a short sell at 300. So if you have made a short sell at 300 and later on at 280 if you have to buy to cover. So 300 was the sale price 280 is the purchase price you will make rupees 20 of profit in the stock at 290 it will be profit of 10 at 300 profit will be zero and now if the price rises you will incur loss in your short selling position now all these situations your option is out of the money why because your option has a strike price of 350 and you have taken a long position if you have taken a long position with strike price of 350 at 350 the option will be at the money below 350 any price the option will be out of the money. This time you are holding the option. So you have taken long position in the option. You will incur a loss, right? Whatever premium you have paid is gone up to this ATM that is at the money situation. After that, from this point, look at the price. Price is 360. That is the market price of the stock is 360. Whereas the strike price is 350, correct? So you make a gross payoff of rupees 10 and premium was paid as rupees 5. So net payoff will be 5. And if it is 380, the net payoff goes to 25. Correct. Now look at one thing. Beyond a point, you will see that your overall payoff, which could be a big loss, that loss is getting restricted to 55 only in this particular example. So if the market price is even lower than 280, you would have made more profit because of the short selling position in your stock. But if the price starts going higher and higher, you will make an upper limit to your loss, which is in this case loss restricted to rupees 55. 
now once you have completed this particular illustration that was uh, illustration 33 let us move on to the fourth strategy in this sequence that will be reversal of protective put i have explained to you that this will be a short position in stock with a short position in put so strategy is short stock plus short put apprehension is increase in the stock price mechanism as the price rises loss on short stock is covered by profit on short put when is it effective when there is a small price decline now the illustration for this is illustration 34 mr d sells short the shares of r limited at rupees 300 per share as he expects a small price decline he writes a put option with a strike price of 270 per share he pays a premium of rupees 5 per share show his expiration day payoff with a price range of rupees 250 to 330 so first of all in your solution you will make a price range from 250 to 330 now look at one thing he has short selling position in the stock and he has made a short sell at 300 so if the market price of the stock is 250 that means short sell was made at 300 buy to cover will be at 250 resulting profit will be 50 if it is 260 resulting profit is 40 270 profit is 30 280 profit is 20 290 profit is 10 at 300 profit becomes zero and at 310 and 330 profit will be minus 10 and minus 30 means these are the situations where the investor will be having loss now look at the option so what is the position in your option you have gone with a short position in put option means you have written a put option if you have written a put option with a strike price of 270 you know when is a put option exercisable a put option is exercisable only and only when the market price is below the strike price so strike price is 270 so only these two situations we find where the put option stands exercisable that is why it is stated as in the money itm at 270 it is at the money and beyond that it is out of the money so when it is out of the money you are going to simply get your premium income undisturbed even at the money you will be getting that premium income because at all these situations right from at the money and out of the money all these situations the option will not be exercised and you will be getting this premium income straight into your pocket this premium income will either increase the profit on the stock or will reduce the amount of loss that you have suffered on the other side when the option is in the money you being a writer of the option in this case you will have to pay off from your pocket and that is where these two losses will arise which will reduce the amount of profit that otherwise you would have earned so notice one thing again in this case there is a limit to the profit that you make that is why this strategy is not good it is just giving you a limit to the profit that you make if the price goes on rising there will be a possibility of unlimited loss so that will be end of this particular illustration